so students today we will discuss the topic hemodialysis yeah artificial kidney you know what happened uh, because of some infection or because of the effect of any drug or because of any particular reason when uh, kidney stops functioning or kidney may be diseased so kidney so because of kidney or renal failure uh, that person supposed to have a particular treatment for the nitrogenous waste removal and that treatment for nitrogenous waste removal is known as hemodialysis yeah artificial kidney because uh, the kid, the original kidney of that uh, person is not functioning well that condition is referred as renal failure so when that person or patient supposed to bring on hemodialysis uh, uh, supposed to have a treatment of artificial kidney how it works uh, now we will try to study actually it works on the same principle as the as the as the filtration or as the waste removal done by our original kidney but here is quite difference and the only difference is what he when our original kidney doing uh, waste filtration then uh, the glomerular filtrate you know i tell you about this is nephron so what i tell you is there is glomerulus blood comes into this glomerulus with the help of efferent arteriole and the filtered waste that proceed toward the pct loop of henle and dct that is at that time is not urine actually it is what it is glomerular filtrate the fluid that pass backward in pct loop of henle and dct uh, that is what that is not urine that is glomerular filtrate and i told you earlier in my previous topic uh, because of excess of pressure some useful substances like um, water glucose so many type of minerals also filter out so there is a need to reabsorb them this reab the reabsorption of water mineral glucose that is selective reabsorption reabsorption takes place uh, when original kidney filter out the waste but here we are talking about hemodialysis or artificial kidney so hemodialysis ya yeah, dialysis is seen as it is done by our original kidney but the only difference is what ki when a person or patient supposed to have hemodialysis in that there is no selective reabsorption of water mineral or glucose like substance takes place this is was the basic difference between um, hemodialysis and the filtration done by our original kidney now what is uh, hemodialysis here what is dialyzing instrument try to understand so here you are observing a dialysis instrument that act as a artificial kidney in this dialysis instrument here are some tubular structure these tubular structure internally these tubular structure 
internally lined with artificial semi permeable membrane artificial semi permeable membrane oftenly it is made up of a type of uh, cellulose so these tubules internally lined with artificial semi permeable membrane and inside them there is a filling of a particular type of fluid that fluid is what dialyzing fluid inside the tubule inside the tubule of this dialysis machine the dialysis instrument is what a particular fluid and that fluid is what dialyzing fluid the composition of this dialyzing fluid is same as the composition of blood especially the composition of plasma of blood because that is liquid part of the blood so now what happened try to understand what happened when the impure blood is taken out from the blood vessel of human and supply that impure blood into the dialyzing instrument so that blood that impure blood when proceed to these tubules because of osmotic concentration because of osmotic concentration uh, the waste filter out from the blood toward the dialyzing fluid because of osmotic concentration the waste from the blood filter out or excrete or um, uh, filter out or excrete out from the blood toward the uh, this dialyzing fluid present inside this tubule because earlier i told you that as uh, if, you, if you remember in nephron there is glomerular filtrate so that glomerular filtrate that is present in between the bowman capsule that glomerular filtrate is supposed to filter the waste in a same pattern the uh, artificial semi permeable membrane that is lined internally with that uh, tubules so that act as a uh, that uh, playing a role of filtration and the fluid that is filled in them and coming blood is having a uh, uh, is showing two medium blood and dialyzing fluid as i and i told you the composition of both are same so but what is the difference in coming blood there is nitrogenous waste and in dialyzing fluid there is no uh, no nitrogenous waste so what will happen that nitrogenous waste in a solution form in a liquid form will move from coming blood to the coming blood to the dialyzing fluid that is filled in tubules and i told you earlier in this process there is no selective reabsorption so as the dialyzing fluid is filled up with that nitrogenous waste we have taken them out and a new dialyzing fluid we supply to that tubules it is uh, i think it is quite clear to you uh, this is a process of hemodialysis or artificial kidney now the next is what excretion in plants you know uh, plants are fixed stationary they remain at their uh, one position so the energy requirements of plants are very less in comparison to animals their uh, physiological functions are very simpler means uh, you know xylem supposed to transport the water phloem supposed to transport the food and the physiology of animals the histology the structure of tissue design of tissue are more complex in animals so the energy needs of animals are very higher so they have a particular system for excretion that we have discussed earlier like excretory system but in plants uh, because of less energy needs because of less uh, complexity 
they have a very simple uh, type of excretory uh, process they don't have a particular excretory system uh, you know in plants i tell you about the stomata then lenticles yeah lenticels these are two micro opening the stomata occur on the surface of leaf and lenticles occur on the surface of stem or the harder surface these two micropores supposed to release the gaseous waste you know uh, what is the gaseous waste of plant you know photosynthesis and you know respiration plants also did respiration as well as they are possessing photosynthesis but because i told you earlier that because plants are fixed energy requirement are very less so they excrete out the most amount of oxygen that they synthesize by the process of photosynthesis with the help of stomata and a less amount of oxygen is consumed by plant in the process of respiration yes plants also uh, conduct the process of respiration to um, fulfill their energy needs as we are doing but that consumption of oxygen very less and most of the oxygen they release out by the process uh, by the pore that is stomata and some extra gases that occurred in uh, stem region or solid region that excrete out with the help of lenticles and when you uh, study this topic in your ncert so it was mentioned ki falling of leaves falling of older leaves is also a kind of excretion in plants you know uh, because of uh, some particular physiological activities plants uh, or stem or leaf of plants secrete some hard substances some uh, uh, viscous fluid like substances that we are referred as tannin and resin that we are referred as tannin and resin uh, uh, in hindi it is heme in, in english it is astrophagida this is also a type of uh, uh, viscous secretion that comes in category of tannin and resin so uh, so many type of tannin and resin physiological waste is secreted by plant and these waste now try to listen very carefully these waste deposit either along with bark bark is what dead tissue of plant so these uh, physiological viscous fluid waste either deposit in a form of bark or they accumulate on the uh, surface of older leaves so falling down of older leaves and removal of bark is also a kind of excretion in uh, plants removal of removal of bark then another type of particular um, secretion is what raffids raffids is what is, uh, in some plant Uh, some needle like um, ex uh, waste material also uh, excrete out this is what the crystal of uh, oxalates these particular raffids like waste material generates in some uh, some plants that is what the waste of oxalates so this is very particular and uh, in your ncert this amount is very uh, the topic is very uh, small or in a small para but uh, try to remember these point these are very important uh, for your uh, exams especially of your board exams